Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome to Sekiro. So many of you guys have been asking me to play this game, and was able to play it a little bit earlier than I anticipated. Apparently it came out last night in the UK, and I only just found out now, which means I could have been playing this all day um, via the use of Tunnel Bear by basically using an IP that says I'm in the UK, but I'm really not. I don't know why these staggered <laughs> release times are always with, the, with these companies, but regardless, we're playing some Sekiro, and I'm excited about this. I haven't played a Dark Souls-style game, and in a very long time, so I don't know how bad we're going to do, but uh, hopefully things aren't too terrible. You know, be easy on me for the first episode or two, because I guarantee I'm not going to be that great, but I do learn very quickly, and hopefully I'll be able to do you guys proud on this particular series. I hope you all enjoy this. We are playing on the PC. I'm um, streaming in, in 2K, so 1440p. In the closing Ooh, years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, <laughs> spreading deep into the mountains. Meredith. The land of Ashima. was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a master shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the shinobi code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and glorious people of the interwebs. We've got Soul Bear, Harold, Mark, Lamoth, Justin Roy, Eric Wilden, Shay, what's going on? Welcome Some back, Angie M. After Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Yeah, we're going a little crazy with the live streams today. I didn't think I was going to have access to this until uh, 11 p.m. my time tomorrow. 
And then I realized it released early in the UK, and so, you know, I did my typical finagling to get my access to it. <laughs> um, so we started tonight. I did. I was not anticipating this, so thank you guys for coming to hang out. There will be no notifications being sent out for this, because I've already released too much content for YouTube today. Um, thank you all for coming to hang out. So I do want to forewarn you guys, I haven't played a game like this in a very long time, so you're going to have to bear with me as I learn all the ins and outs of this. Um, I can't guarantee that it'll be very good at the beginning, we've got an ornamental letter, a letter thrown into a well. Kuro's Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent and stay vigilant. All right, so we can crouch this way, so I imagine this is how we're going to be super secret spoopy. Jumping. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. In air near wall, you can double jump. Okay. Ashina Reservoir. So I imagine in this particular part, we're going to need to be particularly stealthy. So let's see what we got going on here. Uh, toggle to wall hug. Okay. This game is very pretty. Now, during cutscenes, I will not be talking and stuff like that. So we can peek around the wall. So we got a bad guy there. We got three bad guys. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers above the enemy's heads. Okay. Pretty straightforward. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody. So that fills anybody? up pretty quick. Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing I'm guessing we need to go to that tower there. Unworthy of our concern. So if we go like this, we sneak around these guys. Wolf can slip into tight spaces such as beneath floors when crouched. Okay. Oh, we can eavesdrop. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure... I like that, that you can eavesdrop like that. So as you guys know, I'm I'm usually not the stealthiest person in the world. If I can just plow through something, I will. Although I I loved stealth games when I was a kid. Um, and I was really good at them when I was a kid as well. So we're definitely going to have to get our stealth on in this particular... Oh my god. Jeffrey Warren, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. I greatly appreciate your support. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh my god, I thought, I thought we were gonna die there for a second. So wall and mid-air to grab a ledge. Okay. Kind of figured. The controls are pretty intuitive, so we should get into this pretty quickly. Jump. And they're pretty smooth as well. So do we need to climb up into here? Oh, we got a person right there. B to drop down? I really don't think I want to do that, honestly. Stealthy isn't your jam. Justin Roy knows me. <gasps> you did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. Hey, Mike. I've come to free you, my lord. 
Well then... Raise your head. Ah, very nice. Kusabi Maru, your sword. Kusabi Maru is what he said, right? My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. I'm playing early because it was released in the UK early, and I used Tunnel Bear to get a UK, basically using a VPN um, through the UK, and I was able to play early. A katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Harada family, a cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once not lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name uh, Kusabi Maru beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill. But even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra of the blade itself may manifest. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. Oh. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Healing gourd, uh, vitality restoring medicine made by an apprentice of the extraordinary Dr. Dogen. Dogen? Though it is, a it is strange that the gourd's medicine waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secrets to how it works. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Is the game audio loud enough for you guys? You can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Use quick item and cycle quick items. Okay. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Open equipment menu. Equipping item. Okay, equipping quick items. There are five slots available. So let's do the healing gourd and then the homeward idol. A small palm sized wooden Buddha can be used repeatedly. Held by Wolf ever since he was saved by his father at corners are rounded with use. Used to return home. Ah, to the last visited sculptor's idol. I feel like we should probably put that on there. Okay. There's a secret passage beneath the moat. Find the secret path. When you've reached it, I'll come as soon as. Okay, so let's see here. I have no idea if going head on out this way is a good idea, but I figure we might as well get into combat. A shinobi aims to break opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Right button attack after breaking posture death blow. Right button, right bumper to attack. Really, that's interesting. Okay, so press in to lock onto the target. Oh, good lord, okay. All right. Right button on Proster Broken Enemy is a death blow. Good lord, that is awesome. Hey, Aaron, what's going on, man? I think Dojin's name is, like, Dolk. <laughs> what's this guy doing over here? We're just going headlong, man. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemies' attacks is another way to damage their posture. So left button lands a deflect, okay? Whoops. Oh, wait, Oops. Oh, wow, he one-shot me. Damn, dude. That is no joke.
All right. <laughs> Was not anticipating that, I'll tell you what. Especially after the first few. First two, super easy to kill. Third one, instant death. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a little bit better at the blocking. There we go. Perfect. So we got a couple guys here. By locking onto your target, keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. While locked on, change target. Okay. I forgot how to use the board already, honestly. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot how to use it. So this button, this button, this button. Nope. Okay. definitely nerve-wracking that basically you and enemies can be killed s extremely easily. That definitely puts an emphasis on playing carefully. Up on the D-pad, that's right. Okay, thank you. Shinobi Leader. Counter Slash. Counter Slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. The moment the attack lands and after deflecting, Counter Slash. Okay, we already did that once. Let's do that again, huh? Now this guy has two death blows, so we got one already. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular mark above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Got him! All right. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passes down. A pill uh, case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Interesting. Okay. So we got pellets now, and we got one pellet. So let's make sure we just have full health. There we go. Now that gourd will slowly refill. I hope we didn't use that too early. Does not open from the side. Okay, cool. So uh, I guess we gotta find a way around, huh? We could be super secret spoopy, or we can just go headlong. What is this bad boy right here? A fist full of ash. Ripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. And Ashina snow falls thick, and thus the hearth runs thick with ash. Okay. Let's go back into here. And let's equip uh let's equip the fistful of ash there. Pellets here and we'll equip the homeward idol in the back. Do we have anything down here? Just trying to make sure we don't like skip out on any secrets, so I'm making sure to Check out the environment as we go. We got something over there, which I imagine we're going to get to anyways. We probably need to cross that bridge. I just want to make sure I don't miss out on anything. You know? Oh, God. Crap, how do we get back up there now? Don't die on all these live streams. I know, it's crazy. Oh, oh. oh, come on. <laughs> Epic fail. There we go. Just could not get the timing of the grab right for some reason. So we've got a, a guy there. Does that mean we can eavesdrop on them? 
You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mm. Uh -huh. Just got... Oh, there's a bird over there or something. Do you carry your sword the whole time or can you sheath it? Um, I have no idea. I imagine this probably... What the hell? What is this? What is this? Oh, I don't like it! Oh my god! So that must be the secret passage down there. This bad boy. Oh, some nice. More pellets. Very nice. So is there anything down there that we need to worry about? I see a couple ledges, but I don't see anything to grab over there. And I can't get up this, I don't think. Oop! It's not going to let us grab onto that. Ugh. There's nothing to grab there. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Thoroughly check it out. I thought this passage was supposed to be under the bridge, right? So... It's over here. Ah! What the hell is this? Oh, and it's gone! It's a freaking giant lizard. Jesus. There's more of them. Screw that. That looks awfully climbable, doesn't it? Do I want to jump down that? I feel like the answer is no, but it definitely seems awfully like, hey, jump down this. Oh, there's also... That looks climbable, but it's probably not. I'm gonna die if I jump down that. There's no way. There's no... It's a trap, as they would say. Whoops, wrong button. I have a 2080... Well, I have two 2080 TIs. The biggest one becomes the Lizard King. It's actually... What it really is... Well, there's a way down there, and there's a... There's a way up there. Okay, cool. It becomes a Jagras. The Great Jagras. So I definitely thought that would be the passage that we needed. The oh-so-talked-about passage of destiny. But maybe we're supposed to actually jump up on the bridge. Yeah, okay. But there's no way to uh, go over here. Intriguing. I kind of like that it doesn't tell you where to go. You just kind of need to find it. Oh, there it is. Did I not see that the first time? I was over there, wasn't I? Losing my mind. I don't know what's going on. This appears to be the escape route called the Divine Air with the reed whistle. Yes. Hey, John. What's going on, man? I'm glad you're here. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Wolf, 
You found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way to run from the fated bloodline is the only answer. I feel like bad things are going to be in this little escape hatch. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. I bet she's a ghost. Bum, bum, bum. What is that? Is that an archer? It sure looks like an archer. I guarantee it's not the only one out here, too. Guess we're gonna find out the hard way. I don't see any behind me, so I feel like I'm... Or is it a boss? Must be a boss. Divine air. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Oh, yeah. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. Who wants to bet I'm going to die? So the noble shinobi stands in our way. Oh, he does a double attack. Oh, what was that? Woo, baby. Oh, he does. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good throw tag. Good throw. So, can we defend the look? Whew! Okay, that knocks you back. Oh crap, the the I can I think I can jump that swipe. So we were supposed to lose. Yeah, those red moves, I need to jump over them. <laughs> I, I imagine because it's a low hit. I imagine other ones need to be ducked or dodged. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. I had a feeling we were supposed to lose that one. Because um, we had both arms, and I know for a fact that we only had one arm in the game. So that explains the one arm bit. You got no arm, Lieutenant Tan. <laughs> You got new legs.
What is this? Well, that's cool. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. Shinobi's prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, and has been impeccably maintained. That's not creepy whatsoever. I would be absolutely terrified to be in this building. What do you call yourself? Your eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Ask how you got here. Ask about your new left arm. Why not? My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no that guy's got some big ass feet. A lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools. I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. Sounds good to me. I've said too much. Go now. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. So I imagine this is one of the home statues. Yep. So a sculptor's idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and store one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems and storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies. Oh, great. Okay. What do we got over here? This looks like more of those bean pellet things. Very nice. Is there any other little glowing bits here that I should focus on grabbing? I don't think so. Let's go this way. It seems like the... Like it's always... Oh, grappling hook. Show me a prosthetic. So right trigger to... Or left trigger to grappling hook. Um, I'm pressing it. Left trigger to use grappling hook. Hmm. We'll have to do a thing. Um, that's right trigger. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't close enough. Okay. I'll show you. Have a good night. This game looks. Spooky for me. Have you even gotten to the serial killer's basement in Red Dead Redemption 2? Oh no. It's such a good little side quest though. What are those glowing things over there? Well, that's nifty. Okay, so it's another uh, place to commune. You can now instantly travel between Sculptor's Idols and have already been communed with. Nice! Sculptor's Idol travel menu. Very cool. So do we have any bad guys down here? We got a guy down there. A guy there. Hmm. 
Where exactly are we supposed to go? <laughs> That's the question. The question of the day. You can perform stealth death blows on opponents unaware of your presence. The plunging death blow is one of these, performed when leaping at an unaware enemy from high ground. Lock on enemy jump and plunging death blow of destiny. Don't mind if I do. So, um, um boop. And die. I did like that. That was fun. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance away. Items found in the world are indifferent than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Okay. Press and hold X to acquire loot. Press X in your world item to pick up item. Okay. Guess we just got some coins, it looks like. Got more pellets. There's another pellet here. I just want to see what's through this little door that he was seemed to be guarding. All right, I don't think we can get across that right now. There was another roving guard around here somewhere. I should probably keep an eye out for. There he is. I wonder if I can do like a death blow from below. I don't think he sees me, right? Or like a death blow from behind or anything like that. He's just... There's a big old hand with a sword right there. What I want to do is I just want to climb up. Wonder if I can jump from here. Very nice. And there should be another dude right over here. Brown Starum. So this guy we're not going to be able to kill until he gets a little bit closer. I'm guessing they don't ever look up. What? <laughs> oh, oh, guard. Oh, almost screwed the pooch on that one, didn't I? Good lord. A ceramic shard, a piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown to draw their attention. Nice. Alright, so we've got one guard here. Is there a roving guard? No. <laughs> I bet you're scared, huh? Just saw me kill your friend like that. Come at me, bro. Oh, I've definitely blocked. Whoa, hey, what's this? Spork fork. Whew. That's not terrifying at all. Fistful of ash. Okay, we got another... Okay, just a person. For some reason, I'm more scared of the dog. Oh! Whoa! Okay, I should be scared of the people as well, I guess. Oh, God. Whew! All right. That was... That was a little too close. A little too close for comfort, huh? Pretty boy, tag back is a legend, best YouTuber. Thank you so much, man. That really means a lot. You're a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you so much for the super chat. Ungo's sugar. 
can be made in uh, the Senpu Temple. Senpu Temple? Sustaining uh, Ungo's blessing temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Cool. Alright, so... Actually, I kind of want to see what's up here. We didn't even go through this little area here. Ah! I'm so glad we did, because there's a place to meditate. Oh, shit. And... Whoa! Another dog. Dogs. Multiple animals. Okay. For some reason, I'm just more terrified of the dogs than anything. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. There we go. Looks like, yeah, something up in there. I forgot that that respawns enemies. Shuriken wheel. Mechanical device made by the mechanical genius. Okay, sweet. So this is another shinobi item. Shinobi tools can be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic. Via the travel from the sculptor's idol or by using the homeward idol. Okay, cool. Cool beans. I forgot that resting actually respawns things, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind for the future. What is that? I'm going to have to say hello to whatever this is. What the hell? Just a giant chicken of death. Bam, bam, bam. Let's see here. So we got an item over there. We've got a dude down there. And then a gate. I have no idea if we're going the right way, by the way. I'm just, uh... I'm lost in the sauce at the moment, but we're just, uh, having a good old time. Definitely don't want to go down that way. I'm just kind of hoping that I'm eventually going to end up in the area that I need to be in. attack. Some enemies use an unguardable perilous attack signified with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully to try and respond properly as each type requires a specific response. Uh, left button as thrust lands deflect, A before sweep lands jump, and B grab lands step dodge. Okay. Well, that's gonna be fun. That was full dookie. Oh shit. Oh god! To stay down after being knocked to the ground surely means death. Safety roll can be used to quickly recover from being knocked down or posture broken. So A or B to safety roll. Well, I'm thinking I'm gonna die, so. <laughs> Good lord, he got me. I just, I had it if I didn't jump off the cliff accidentally. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. How are they gonna wake up in the morning? <laughs> I didn't know you could just leap off the edge. Wait, uh. I mean, we just saved, so we can definitely just die. I'm not gonna use the resurrection on that. <clears throat> so it would have been perfectly fine if I, uh, you know, didn't do dum-dums. 
So I already got the... Yes, I already picked that up. Okay. Is the Rooster of Doom still up there? No. Yes, it is, actually. The Rooster of Doom is, in fact, up there. We can definitely take this guy out this time, though. Just need to pay attention a little bit better. And not jump off the edge like an idiot. That would be the preferred method, really. Oh, he's a damn general. He's just trying to get me to freaking fall off the edge, isn't he? Whoop! Oh shit, what is this? I don't like that. Doesn't look friendly at all. No, jump! Got that block on him. Whew, okay. Not too shabby. Uh, a loose prayer bead. Offering four of them to a sculptor's idol will increase maximum vitality and posture. And a gourd seed. Uh, healing waters continuously spring forth. Give to Emma to increase the maximum uses of healing gourd. Sweet! That was definitely worth taking the time to do then. Absolutely 100% worth the time. All right, what we've got going on up in here? Don't even know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. There's a dude there. Kind of just enjoying exploring and stuff. Oh god, we got two dudes. Three dudes. Uh, two roving. So we can kill the roving dude. Make sure there's... Is there one here? I'm like looking around my, my microphone to see. This battle. Do you think it can be won? Well, I don't think it can be won. It may not prevail. What? We'll be just fine. Look, Ishi may be sick, but he's... And of course, we have Gyobu the demon. Ah, Gyobu, a good point. Can I... do a little... Oh! Fail! Kind of fail. Oh, there's somebody shooting shit at me! Great! Oh god, I'm gonna die because I get freaking greedy. They got guns? I didn't know that. That was a shitty surprise. The Divine Heir's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using the resurrection power. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I'm boned now. I had no idea they had guns. I should have known, but- Ah! Jesus Christ, where did you come from? Woo! A 
I feel like we should save first. Oh my god, that dude scared the literal... I almost pissed myself. He came out of nowhere. Which it was terrifying. Good lord. Okay. Ooh, the advanced physical attributes has been unlocked in the sculptor's idol menu. Here you can spend your prayer beads to create... Okay, nice. Um, so enhance... You don't have four prayer beads. Okay. That's fine. Didn't want them anyways. You can deflect and block bolts. Yeah, but only if you know they're a thing. <laughs> I learned at that very moment that there were bullets. So we're definitely going to have to take this just a little bit more carefully. We got a dude there. I still don't know where that shot came from. <clears throat> I could go back to the temple. You're right. I'll probably do that in a minute. I just feel like we'll probably get something else relatively soon. I don't want to go back and forth too much. We can pretty much avoid everybody here. And just hop down here, I suppose. Right, so, oh, there's a dude with a freaking cannon over there. That's cool. Uh, sugar. Uh, priest gave this candy to... Okay, so it's the... Uh, bite the candy and take the Gachin stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Uh, the assassins do Senpao's dirty work. Once hired guards, now extensions of the monks will. Okay. So we got to definitely put that on our little hotbar thingy. One of those, maybe. Let's do... Let's do this one. Yeah. We're good. Someone tells me I can't jump that far, but I can... Oh, that looks like... <laughs> that looks like I'm going to die down there. I imagine there is fall damage at a certain point, but I just have not reached that point yet, maybe? I want to see if I can make it that far, but I feel like I won't. Will I make that jump? Uh, yes. Whew. Pucker effect is for realsies, man. Where was the guy with the big boomstick? He's right there. I want to kill him before anything bad happens. Oh, there's a dude. Two dudes there. Oh my god, there's dudes everywhere. Do I want to risk killing him? I feel like it's not worth it. What is that? Oh, it's a rooster again. So I think the roosters will alert people to my presence. And we got a, a little sink thing over here. So let's kill this rooster real quick, huh? Farewell, sweet prince. Oh god, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. No, you're not gonna make it. Let's travel back to... Um, blah, 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 blah. To the dilapidated temple. Yeah. Sneak behind him and instant kill him? Definitely a possibility. Hello, gorgeous. You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. 
I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but... For his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. Hmm. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. Okay. You made this gourd. Yes. It was intended. I'm enjoying the game so far. Quite a bit. It seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourds? Yes, Alright, I already got gourd seeds. <laughs> Is this a gourd seed? Yeah, plant. perfect. Now the volume. Okay. Such a there we go. Strain. Is it strange? <laughs> if it's a fact, that's what my mentor. I see. Please, bring I should be. Okay, I don't need to talk more about gourd seeds. <laughs> as much as I like talk about gourd seeds. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm. You'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be specially adapted to the shinobi prosthetic via the Fit Prosthetic Tools menu. Loaded shuriken. So, pull a shriek and load it into the wheel and launch into the target with a single flowing motion. I'm guessing we did it, but yeah. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there. Don't do anything funny with it. I know you've been told before, but voice acting would be amazing for you. I think it would be pretty cool to do, but... I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be so lucky. Use a prosthetic tool. Uh, wait, huh? Oh, the right trigger. Switch prosthetic tool. Okay, cool. Now, I wonder what the reload timer on it. What is this? You see the kind face. It was carved when a man... Oh, he already, he already talked about this. That. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's continue on. Let's test this new shuriken thing. What the crap was that? Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Spirit emblems can be obtained from defeating enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Cool. Well, that explains like that. Right, let's um, rest just to make sure we're fully rested. And then we'll head to the other one, because they're going to respawn anyways, so. I'm travel, baby. That's the one we're at, right? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Affleance? Welcome back, good sir. Alrighty. So where we got to go? We got... Ah, there's a thingy boober over there. Might as well go check that out, huh? Oh no. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Oh dude, there's bodies in there. Jesus. 
I should do a Witcher playthrough. Little did you know, I just re-downloaded The Witcher uh, two days ago. And then I modded it so that it looks even more pretty. And I was going to actually do a playthrough. Holy shit, Biscuits. What the hell is this? I don't feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured. Just Who's the one making all the noise? Okay. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I want to find out. I don't care if I die. We're just going to do it. Oh god, did he get me? No, that was just a bad block. Oh dude, look at that thing up there. It's huge! That's what she said. Ah. Oh, it's angry. Damn it, he's just... Oh, crap. Oh, what is this? Grab it. <laughs> okay, so grab attacks are a uh, step dodge. <laughs> that was amazing. I don't even care that I died. That was freaking cool. It was the most glorious death I've ever had. What's that red shit down there? Holy crap. That dude was intense. Well, yeah, let's kill this guy first since he was a dick. There we go. Let's, let's find a better way to kill this guy, shall we? There's gotta be a better way, right? Maybe not. Maybe balls to the walls is the only way. I think you should explore a bit after fighting that big boy. You know, I think you're right. I feel like we're probably gonna die again though. This guy might take a few tries for me to figure out all this little crap. First time trying to use the, uh, oh, crap. Whoa! Oh, come on! We definitely want to get down here a little bit. This thing's insane. Oh god, it still got me! The range on that. Holy Jesus. Use fire on him. I don't have fire! Uh, you know what? Let's resurrect. Oh Jesus. I dodged into him accidentally. That guy's a, a beast. Let him come down the stairs. Yeah, that's uh, definitely imperative. Plus one for exploring. Maybe find some useful items. Yes, indeed. Unseen aid. Hmm. Half of skill is experience. Okay, center lost upon death. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. We 
camera in the game is a little is a little weird. But we'll be okay. I just gotta get used to the range of this dude and we'll be fine. Let's make sure he comes downstairs this time. We do not want to aggro anybody else. Oh, Jesus, he still got me. Oh, my God. Hey, what's going on, man? Holy Jesus. I gotta like dodge twice for this. seen Shrek move like this? <laughs> oh my god! This thing is a WWE wrestler. Oh my goodness. Free. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Did the game just like be like, nah, bro. No shit attack from behind. So, you're awake. <laughs> Your death is... A wrought essence sculptor. Somewhere a pained cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts states of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building's flames. Owning this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid. Okay, gotcha. That's cool. The more one with the power of the dragon's heritage dies, the more a sickness known as dragon rot spreads through the world. If one known to wolf is coughing and wheezing, it's likely they are afflicted with dragon rot. The more rot essence wolf has, the lower the chance of receiving unseen aid. Huh. Well, great. Okay. Well, I suppose it could have been worse. Let's try that again. I just need to make sure I don't... Um... It's interesting, because when you dodge... When you're dodging the first attack, he follows you. So I need to, like, dodge to the right and then dodge back. And, um... Because he actually follows you with the attack. So if you dodge twice in one direction, he's going to get you. Uh, so let's see here. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Not a good start. The free hits at the beginning are nice. I just need to make sure not to go up to the stairs. Unseen aids. <laughs> oh, God. Oops. hits on him. That's the question here. So maybe we do Ingo's sugar. Call forth the inner spooter man. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. 
too many free hits can be done. This is where we want to just get away from them a little bit. Oh, jeez, see, he's... <laughs> I gotta wait to dodge until he's closer is what it is. Oh, jeez. be a little too tired for this right now. I've been going all day. The people's elbow is intense. Did he get me again? Shit! Oh, crap. See, I keep missing the opportunity to jump on his head. I gotta make sure to pay attention to that next time. I keep hitting the left bumper instead of the, uh, the button I need to hit for that. Oh, fuck me. He wants a hug. I think for that one, I need to jump and I'm dodging it. I need to jump for it. Guess you have to take the advice and try fire. I don't have anything that has fire. I said that already. Oh, shit. Oh. Bam, bam, bam. I was trying to... That low attack is something I need to jump over. I need to... I need to jump it. I was thinking it was the same as the other dodge. But it's not. Sorry, guys. Like I said, it's going to take a minute to get actually good at this game. I haven't played a game like this in a very, very long time. it again. See that, uh, when it lights up on his thing, that's gonna be his weakness. I just need to hit the right freaking button next time. Okay. <laughs> GG.
think my brain might be a little fried right now. Oh god, okay, jumping across that doesn't work. Try not getting suplexed. That would be nice if I could, right? I, I was hitting the button. But clearly not good enough. Get him tag. We believe in you. You shouldn't believe in me. <laughs> Looks like my ex-wife. <laughs> oh, no. So. I've got it this time. Hands down, I've got it this time. We should probably go look for fire, though. So, how does this thing freaking work? So, I think I just loaded it that time. That's what killed me, because I was trying to shoot it when I was up close. And, um... And that's what got me suplexed that last time. So, I think it's loaded now. I'm not 100% sure, though. Dragon Rot was spread through the world. And there will be more where that came from. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't looking over there. Let's just take our sweet time with this, shall we? And get kicked in the face. This is going to be one of those games where I play much better without being targeted, like having the auto target on, because I always just end up dodging into his attacks for the target. His weakness is his lumbago. <laughs> I am just getting massacred right now. This is... this is bad. Oh god! That I haven't seen him do that before. I just need to heal for a second. Reaper, thank you for the for the super chat. Uh, or Grim Reaper, thank you <laughs> for becoming a member. Ah! Because your character needs a hand. <laughs> he literally does need a hand. That's the sad bit. 
all of the bad things being sent into the world right now. All because of my epic failures and that stupid chicken over there. Grim Reaper, thank you so much for becoming a member. I greatly appreciate the support. Several rot intense infested characters later. I'm determined. buddy old pal let's do this again shall we we meet again Kick's got the range of something that's got a freaking stupid amount of range. The people's elbow! Come on! Oh, this is bullshit! I had it! When did that guy get aggroed? Ah! Oh. I definitely had it that time. That makes me so sad. I 100% had it that way. Man, what's from Hirata? I must pay my respects. Lord Kuro. Lady Emma. Are there other Hirata survivors? There. <laughs> Shut up, chicken! I see. Was he coming for me? Apologies. Oh yeah, he is. Get out of here, you rotten bastard. <laughs> Ow! Oh, uh, the game's the game's fun. It's definitely a challenge. Um, let's explore a little bit, shall we? I th I think I'm just getting a little ahead of myself here, and I'm determined to to try and do it when I probably shouldn't be. There's a lot of stuff over here. I don't exactly know how to get to it all. It looks like I need to jump down from there. So let's see what's down here, anyways. Oh, pray for me, ladies and gentlemen. I think I was just kind of bashing my head against the wall that I was not... I mean, I could have killed it. I was definitely going to kill it that time. And then that spear dude came out of nowhere and just... They gang raped me is what happened. Let's be honest here. It was unfair. I think we kind of have to do it, though. What we're saying is weak to fire, but... We've not seen any fire abilities around anywhere. This is the only area... Well, actually, I could have gone the other way. Maybe we should go the other way then. Right? 
Maybe I'm just going the wrong way and I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I can't even climb a wall right now. I am having fun though. It's just, um, you know, I'm terrible. Unseen aid. Oh boy. So it would be this one. It's a damn Velocirooster. rooster. actually follow me up here or not. Seems like we wasn't sure if that would work or not. Always good to officially know you can stealth kill. The game's mad at me because I killed the chicken. Probably. <laughs> the guy re died. more like a Dark Souls? Yeah, it pretty much is. Just with a different title. You know, different story arc, if you will, as Ashley put it. I like how they keep re-dying. I really just want to go and kill that guy. I'm so determined to do it. I feel like I should have killed him a long time ago. the last time if I didn't somehow aggro that dickhead. <sighs> wonder if we can actually hit him with the fistful of ash. Oh, good job, Tag. Fistful of sugar makes the world go round. to see all the comments in this video after it's released later tonight of all the tryhards saying how bad I am at this. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to risk aggroing the, the Lance dude this time. We're just going to hang out down here. So if I use this... Oh... Oh my god. 
This game would probably be a good study of how exhaustion changes focus. You're right. It's not good. I'm, I can feel just how tired I am right now. So I woke up way earlier because I'm trying to get my sleep schedule not screwed up. And I've been working since 8 a.m. And it's now 10 p.m. And I have not taken a break today. So I think I might be stretching myself a little thin right now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to... I'm too tired for this right now. I'm having fun, <laughs> but I just... My reaction times, like, I see it and I don't press it until, like, way too late. So I think I need to... I think I need a, a good night's sleep before I can actually do anything not terrible in this. Oh, my God. You can fly! Trust the wind! <laughs> I think I just need to get out of my office for for a little while. Uh, but, you know, I'm definitely going to play more of this. I just, I realized that um, I'm just probably going to frustrate you guys with this. I'll probably kill it the second I'm not sitting here talking and just actually focus. And that's usually what it is, honestly, is the whole talking and playing thing. It never seems to go well for me or really any of most people. It's one of those things. But anyways, I am having a lot of fun. We are going to play a lot more of this on the channel. Uh, I just got to get good sun, right? As they always say. I'm going to take a nap. We're probably going to live stream this early tomorrow. Um, so if you want to see more, let me know. We'll get revenge on the Ogre of Doom tomorrow. You need to take a firearm in Harada Estate and defeat him. Go pray to the Buddha to access. Yeah, uh, I, I will get the firearm for tomorrow. I'll figure out exactly how to get that, and then we'll kill the Ogre. We'll get our revenge, ladies and gentlemen. Revenge shall be ours. I hope you all enjoyed the live stream. If you want to see more of this on the channel and watch me progress from being absolutely terrible to getting good, because that's how we roll. We did the same thing with Monster Hunter, where we went from the worst Monster Hunter player in the world to pretty damn good. But uh, anyways, I hope you all have a great night. Thank you so much for the support and for watching with me for like the third, fourth live stream today? Or third live stream today. Oh my God, I can't even count now. You guys have a great night. We'll see you all in the next one.